Hey everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day because I'm about to do a kit build. This is an Arduino starter kit like I've never seen before. This is the Dr. Duino. Now, what makes this kit different is two things. One, this is an all-in-one kit, but you have to build it yourself. You have to solder all the components in. And two, in just my initial searching, it has these best, hands down best, online documentation that I've ever seen in any starter kit, hands down, full stop, awesome. Now, that's how it looks. We're gonna find out as I go through this process if it's really as good as my initial impressions lead me to believe, but they've got a website, and uh, as you can see over here, I've got my computer set up, and they give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to solder this bad boy together, and uh, it's really neat, like all the steps are locked, so you have to kind of go through them one by one and assemble the board. Now, I feel like it'd be really boring for you guys to watch me solder for what'll probably be like two hours. So um, I'm going to cut the video off and I'm gonna come back and forth and give you my impression. So according to this, I am 25% through the build process and uh, so far it's going pretty well. I did mess up this resistor. I didn't have it all the way down and then I wound up breaking it as I was pushing it back down. Uh, but they give you extra resistors, so I was able to replace that. Uh, overall, you know, not my best soldering, but looks pretty dang good. Definitely not my worst. Um, as far as the soldering goes, most of it is pretty straightforward. Obviously, you have the thing where you're working on this, and you have to turn it upside down to solder it. My sticky tape, my sticky tack here is dried out, so it's been kind of useless. That's normally what I would use in that situation. Um, so that's been a bit fiddly. I'm about an hour maybe a little less than an hour's worth of work in getting the first 25% done. Uh, one thing I was going to say, I really like these little hook thingies. I guess you can see them if I turn them that way. Uh, these are little test points that are on this thing for hooking an oscilloscope or a meter up to the thing. Um, just a little wire that you can kind of grab onto. Let me see if I can get my finger there. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see how those are made for meter probes and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, Again, the instructions are great to tell you what to put, where to put it, um, which way to orient it, and all that kind of stuff. So an hour in, no complaints. And time, two hours and five minutes, start to finish, not rushing, uh, eating a cheese and nut snack and drinking a caffeinated beverage. It is 3.44 in the morning, and uh, yeah, I soldered it looks decent overall this thing is very very cool um, all these jumpers are here for uh, diagnostic purposes and they will explain that later into the uh, instructions the one thing I was getting a little scared about when I went through the instructions I, I finished the build at something like 43 percent of the you know of the course so I was thinking when I was at 25 percent that I still had a lot to go but um Turned out wasn't really too bad. Uh, so I have not done anything with this thing. Uh, just to let you guys know a little bit about it, the soldering was pretty straightforward. The header pins can be a bit of a pain. Um, the only sort of complicated soldering thing was this LED strip. You actually had to solder um, header pins onto pads at a 90 degree angle. So, you know, I mean, slightly intermediate soldering. Uh, what's really cool about this thing is it is designed to be plugged into an Arduino Uno that you provide, or it comes with the Nano, and it also has compatibility with Arduino Shields. And so um, there's a lot more flexibility to this thing than kind of meets the eye. So I'm going to get to the software experience and I'll let you know what I come up with. All right, so my original plan was not to go through the entire tutorial for this thing, but uh, it was actually interesting, so I decided to do it. Now, the thing that really blew me away is the diagnostic that comes with this. It is so cool. So I've got my serial monitor open after uploading the example sketch, and uh, I can tell it that I'm ready, and hit enter. And it's gonna ask me if all the LEDs are on. I can tell it, yes, they are, and then, um, so great, they're working. Then it's gonna ask me to push the buttons. And uh, one, two, three. Now this doesn't actually light up that one when I push that. And it automatically tells me that the tests pass. And so you go through the whole thing and it wants you to turn all the potentiometers to the left and to the right and cover up the light sensor and all that kind of stuff. And just a very cool way to figure out that everything on the board is working and your boy got it right the first time, which is awesome. Like, uh, you know, there's there's something about this kit where you, um, 
can really, quote unquote, take pride in the fact that you assembled it. And if there was something wrong with it, that you figured it out. Uh, so there's really something to that. And I will say the instructions were absolutely top notch. Literally the best I've ever seen on any starter kit. So very, very cool there. So after you go through all the step-by-step -step instructions of building and diagnosing this thing, then they have some standalone projects. There's some projects that come with the board. There's some premium projects and add-on projects and stuff like that. And uh, the guy is a Knight Rider fan, and so am I. So I thought it was kind of cool that one of the ones included is this Larson scanner. Uh, I like the front of kit. And what's kind of cool with it is you can come in here and actually use these potentiometers to adjust the color. Hey, we've got car. Um, so you can adjust the potentiometers to get uh, different color values on your Larson scanner and stuff like that. So there's just a lot of um, kind of cool stuff that is in these instructions. The uh, instructions for the projects are, I would say, a little bit more of a typical PDF style. Now, they're very, very good. Uh, again, probably best I've ever seen in terms of PDFs. Very good examples, very clear explanations, lots of graphics, um, step-by-step -step instructions and all that. But the projects that go afterwards are a, um, a PDF. So uh, the big question is that I always ask at the end of a video like this is who is this for? And in my mind, this is very much for a certain type of person and very much not for another type of person. So if you are the type of person who you would say enjoys the journey, then this project is for you. Like I said, I am not the fastest solderer in the world, but it is, uh, you know, it's at least a two hour process to get the board together and all that. And, you know, it's, it's a perfect thing if you're off for the holiday break or something like that and you want to piddle and you want to take your time and you want to enjoy the journey and you want to learn about these things as you put them in and you want to learn some new techniques, then it is definitely a kit for you. Um, if you're looking to buy a kit for somebody who is the kind of person who just skips steps and, uh, you know, it's more about just, hey, I just want to grab all this. If you hand somebody like a puzzle and they just don't even look at the picture and just start trying to jam pieces together, uh, this is definitely not the kit for you. Uh, you probably want a kit, something like an Elegoo kit, where you're just going to grab a bunch of parts in the box and start wherever you want. So um, that being said, this is a very, very good kit. And there's a lot of projects and there's a lot of uh, different things that you can do with this thing. Love the diagnostic stuff. They have another uh, course for turning this thing into a basic oscilloscope and maybe multimeter, I think he said. Um, I'd really like to see a little bit more as I go through the projects about how to use these different probe points and things like that. Um, man, there is just... The thing that really strikes me about this board is just how well it's thought out from the rerouting technology to the prototyping area. I don't know if you noticed this, but you know, from your nano, you've got all of your analog and digital pins here. You've got, uh, you've got your voltage in and your regulator out and all these different things that you can access for a prototyping zone over here. You have your little breadboard and there's just a lot of stuff that was just really well thought through uh, to make this not only a standalone project, but a platform that you can keep developing on. So uh, kudos to the people at Dr. Duino who made this thing. And uh, yeah, I think it's definitely worth checking out if you're the right kind of person for it. So hey, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and have a great day.